Got another offer for uh, Nadav Nadam. Welcome in, everybody. We are in Tel Aviv. First full stream in Tel Aviv with Maccabi Tel Aviv. It's the job that was handed to us last stream. Welcome in, everybody. Hey, Moo. Hey, Green. Moo, thank you so very much for the bits. Appreciate it. Appreciate you. We rejected it. We tried to get a larger uh, optional fee when it was all, all said and done. So we are undefeated with uh, Maccabi Tel Aviv. One draw, which was disappointing, because I think it was a nil-nil draw. We got a clean sheet, but we didn't score. And then we faced our old team in uh, Sexia ne Nes Siona. And we beat them, but we only beat them one nil. So we find ourselves with 12 games to go before the split. 13 to go before the split. We've got, we're only on 17 games. With 23 points sitting in ninth place. So we are in uh, the bottom half right now. But all we need is one more win. Then uh, Maccabi Netanya. And we got a top half finish, which is all we need. We'd obviously like to do better than that. We want European places. We're only six points out of Europe right now. So hopefully the team will start to gel with the new system. We're expecting a sellout, a capacity crowd of 29,108 as we take on Hapoel Be'er Shiva. All right, we've won our uh, last game. We're three, unbeaten in three. We won our last game. They are unbeaten in five. We have fair form. They're strong. Can't believe Ramon is starting today. <laughs> Look shattered. Oh, great. Yes, uh, Mamana starts and he's happy. I'm happy. 21 bucks a ticket. We've got a full house, I believe. Let's uh, shut a few people up. There we go. We're inspired. Let's see. We can have a good team talk and inspire the team. Going up against the 4 3 3. Elianiv Barda and his squad coming in. Oh, this uh, referee has uh, given away two red cards so far on the season. That makes me a little nervous. We took off, get stuck in, so we should be okay a little bit. Tel Aviv starts it in the yellow and blue kits. Uh, Hapoel Bear Shiva is in the red. Is that red? Some form of red. All right, playing with ourselves in the back. The Chelsea Glazer. Oh, come on. Come on. What was that? Where, where, where was he going? Why was he not going forward? I don't like that move. That's the whole point, right? You're supposed to overlap and go on up that outside. And Canuck has already picked up a yellow card less than five minutes in. Adam Ramon, come on. Feed it in, Ramon. He does, in the middle, headed away, chased down by Endora, but he can't keep control. Ball is clear, but only as far as Ortega, carrying it up the right wing, sending it in. Almog can't get his head on it. Kaczynski heads it back from Adam. He's got Parrots. Almog retreats. Parrots with the long shot. That's off a body. He's going to pop up in Glazer. We'll grab it out of the air, and that will end the offensive attack for Tel Aviv. Three shots, two of them on target in that attack, so not too bad. Laser sending it long. Almog has control. Trying to feed Karuk, or Kanuk, I mean. But Bear Shiva going the other way. Zasano. Paun up to Solari, taken away by Ramon. He's double teamed, but he's able to get it out for Mamana. Grazer, uh, what's that guy's name? Kanishowski. He's got it. Pushes past one man, stops, lays it back. Ortega in the middle. Almong with the header inside the near post. And it's 1 0 Maccabi Tel Aviv pending the VAR goal review. But it's going to be a goal. They're going to allow it. That's right. It is 1-0 Tel Aviv. And I just closed my soundboard. Damn it. We didn't get to play any cool uh, sounds for that one. 1-0 Tel Aviv inside of 10 minutes. What? That was liquid football. Alma picking up his, I believe, seventh of the season. And we're up by one. We've got it again. Parrots along the near sideline. Ramon, heavy touch, but he's able to follow it up. Feeds it for an Almog looking for Endor. Endor with a quick shot from the penalty spot. 
And he just gets a little bit too much under it. And right now, Maccabi Tel Aviv sitting in seventh place, just as we said. We can move up to sixth. Oh my goodness, that one's off the crossbar. Grazer, Canuck, heading it around the box. Almog just outside to the corner. Glazer, Mamana, Nidam in for Almog. In, Mog, in. That's going to go off the Canuck, but he's going to be offside. That, he wasn't expecting to get that deflection towards him. Can't fault him for that. I mean, we can. Like, if we mess up and we didn't get that goal, we lost an opportunity, but it doesn't matter. Ramon to throw in. We'll take it back from Amana. Waits for the pressure. Harmlessly back to Danielle. I have a feeling we're dominating possession numbers. It's just me. The Dom ahead for Kanishowski. He's got Al Mong, but uh, Glazer's going to come in and get to it first. Grab hold and send it long. It's going to go over everybody. Glazer losing control. Bad touch. Klimala has it. Drops it back for Solari. Solari cutting in and across. Nidam with great defense. Keeping in from, uh, is Hazano. And Almang will gain control, though, for Tel Aviv. Salzano making a great play on that sideline. Uh, unfortunately, didn't have a player on his team wearing the red kit anywhere near it. We got match momentum going in our favor. Eight shots to one. Uh, looks like they are trying to press our players more often, says our assistant coach. I think every game should be 7-0 too. Unfortunately, it's not. Oh, my goodness, that one. Oh, Nidam hitting the post. Parrots with a shot deflected on. Eliash on the line, able to head it clear. And Klamala has it. Oh, what a great slide tackle by Mamana, but Klamala will regain control. But they're not going to do anything with it on this 66-degree evening at Bloomfield. Grazer from a dangerous position. He's going to hit the wall. That's going to go out. It will be a corner kick. It really should, and the fact that it's not is disturbing to me. Ramon sending it in, far side. Nadam could not get his head on it. Played clear, but Canuck able to track it down, and here we come again. Double team doesn't matter. Plays it out, and Nadam's got it. Tries to cross it in. That's off the leg of the defender. And they'll go out behind for yet another corner kick. Sent in. Sent out. Almong down, oh, but then cleared. Good play, Ortega though, keeping it away from the offensive player. I keep hitting the post, yeah, balls cleared off the line, insane saves, it's, it's nuts. Actually had a bit of insanity, so the team that was cheering for in the game tonight, they were down 3-0, 3-0. We're not gonna say nil in baseball. Ramon sending it in, headed over by Endor. <laughs> oh, thank you very much, Green, for the bits there. I appreciate that. And the laugh, as always. So they went down last night 3-0, ended up tying it up, and they went uh, ahead 8-3, eventually winning 8-5 in extra innings and eight innings for a Little League game, which was insane last night. So they're down three, two outs, same as last night. Get a runner on, and then the number three hitter drills it line drive perfect line drive into left center field the center fielder comes over name like didn't do anything all game offensively or, or defensively dives and makes the catch to end the game and secure the championship for the bad guys and i don't want to say bad guys they're 11 year old kids but the ones that we were not cheering for 14 shots to two four on target to nil 1.13 XG to 0.21. We're just dominating this game. 69% possession, 90% pass completion. We've won 73% of our tackles, and yet we are only leading one to nil. Let's talk about how many chances we created. Maybe they'll want to try to create some more chances. Uh, we are going to have to make some changes. We got some uh, tired players. We did only play a couple of days ago. Maybe should have rotated the squad a little bit more, but we did not. Canuck with the interception. Can't feed indoor, though. Damari for Shamir, and that will be the end of that kickoff highlight. I definitely need the coffee. I started dozing off during work today. Like, I took a 15-minute took a break, laid down. 
It's watching a little TV. Next thing I know, my kid's standing over me and says, I'm getting picked up in a few minutes. I'm going downstairs. I'll see you later. Ortega, Nidam. Krachowski ahead. Oh. Canuck. Not, uh, Canuck. Canuck pulls off. I mean, can't really blame him. He is on the yellow card. Ortega, Nidam. Parrots now. Up the right side. Kanishowski. For Peretz, Almong back for Peretz. The shot blocked by Barrera. Ramon's got it. His shot is blocked. Almong with the header. And Glazer able to jump up and grab it out of the air. Not as strong as a header as we would have liked to see, to be completely honest with you. See, I'm a little nervous now about having to replace Mamana. Nadam running into a little trouble, but he's got Glazer. Canuck for Indoor. Indoor. Through ball. Almong. Almong in. Almong just wide. Goal kick. That looked like it hit the goalkeeper. Like, how did it go through the five hole and go wide? I don't know. I don't know. I smell some poor refereeing, is what I smell. Safori. Free kick. Almong will clear. Solari will chase it down, though, so. Air Shiva may get another chance pending our defensive level. Knocked back to Abu Abid. Now Shamir has it. Damari sending it forward. That's over everybody. Danielle will send it long. Nobody is there. Indoor is coming for it, but Glazer just waits for it to come inside the box to be able to pick it up, which ended up being a slightly dangerous play on their part. Back again, fed through. Great pass to Canuck. Nidam waits. Right wing side, Ortega pushing forward. Into the middle, header on, hit the crossbar, rebound, Almang. His second goal of the game is eighth of the year, and it's 2 0 Maccabi Tel Aviv. But yeah, we hit the woodwork again. What a feat for Ortega. He really deserved an assist on this one. Endure trying to get his first goal. Hits the crossbar, bounces back. Almong is in just the right spot, and it is 2-0. Probably should have made the subs at that point. We're going to take off uh, Manamana, and uh, oh, you know what? Calam Calamaro is anxious, so Itai Aharoni is going to come in. Oh, that's different. We got ads coming in in about a minute. We're going to snooze those. Hopefully we get through the end of the game uh, by by then. But I've never seen it in my chat before. Really, he did? I didn't even notice that. I ha I would been, I kind of, you know, I kind of watch Jack like not in the background, but I do watch, but I'm more listening than like intently watching. So that's cool. I, I might have to send him a message. Well, I mean, put a comment on the YouTube video. I'll I'll have to rewatch that. But thank you for pointing that out. That was kind of cool. I have been I have been watching Work the Space. Uh, he was one of the first that I started watching before I even started playing the game. Uh, I, I don't I don't want to take any. I know these guys are a little tired. Uh, I guess we're we're gonna take Canuck off just simply because he's uh, on a yellow card, and that'll give Toklamani Toklamati an opportunity to get on the pitch for the final thirty minutes or so. We also have Ortega on uh, with a yellow, but we don't want to mess with him yet right now. I didn't realize that, that Danielle was his uh, backup goalkeeper. I mean, going straight from uh, Tel Aviv to the Bundesliga, that's not too bad. Maybe we can do that as a manager after this. Pinpoint passing, fed for Toklamani in, Toklamani with side angle shot and pulled off of the line by Glazer after it hits the post. Shot to flex off the goalkeeper, off the post, and then the defender and the Nidam crap. Crap, okay, no card. Whew. Bit of a rough tackle from behind by Nidam. Bear Shiva with the ball. Rosero sending it forward, headed along. The only person who's going to get there, though, is Ramon. Laser, Ortega, Nidam, pinpoint passing once again. 
Parrott's doing a little more dribbling than I like to see. Kanishowski ahead, and Dower can't get to it. Rosario with a great defensive play. Toklamati has it taken off his feet by Eliash, but regains by Kanishowski after it bangs off a couple of bodies. And Dora with a header. That's in. Toklamati turning garbage into gold. Laser with the initial save. Toklamati putting it in. They're going to review to see if Toklamati was offside uh, before that shot was taken by Endure. VAR is looking at it. VAR has decided it is 3-0 Tel Aviv. Yeah, 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 yeah. Blazer just... Uh, <laughs> they, they love taking shots, man. We take all the shots. We just don't want to score. Hey, it's 3-0 now. I think we're, we're, we're pretty much cruising the victory here. First, uh, the announcer's kiss of death, probably, as they're banding it about the box. Wait. Oh, come on. Are you fucking kidding me? They're going to call a penalty. They're calling a penalty. Penalty has been awarded. I spoke too soon. Uh, it was uh, Abu Abiyad is taking it, and he drills it by center back, taking that penalty, and it's 3-1, Tel Aviv over Beersheba. Oh man, that was a makeup call, I think. I mean, they didn't show a replay of what happened in the box, but I think that was like all total bullshit. And now Danielle, the only starter not with a rating over seven. Now Sufari, Danielle with the save, cleared away, holy crap. We might have to go defensive just to stem this tide. Oh, who am I kidding? Attack, attack, attack. Another corner though coming up for Bear Shiva. We just need to survive these final 13 minutes plus whatever they add on at the end. That one's cleared. Oh, Kanishowski can't get it. Eliash to Damari, taken away by Endor. He'll just send it forward and say, get this out of here. All right, we're gonna, we're gonna need to make some more changes, I think. Kanishowski's gonna come out for Or Dadia, although everyone's like nervous and stuff. Uh, Dor Parrots, you have done your service. And, um, Endor, you're going to stay on because you're still in good shape right now. Uh, do we just change out the entire midfield? We don't have, oh yeah, Ido Ali will, no, or Ori Azu, former Nessayona Loni, Ori Azu is coming in. We're going to pause those ads again. How have I not noticed that popping up in chat before? In the middle, Ortega's now got it. Ortega with the shot, laser. Pretty easy save, just taking a step to his left. Final 10 minutes of the game, though. Still have Ortega, Glazer, and Almong all on yellow cards, so we're kind of living life a little dangerously right now. Oh, I'm loving the 18 stamina. I appreciate the 18 stamina. It's one of the reasons why I definitely agreed to sign him just right off the bat. I mean, besides, all you recommended it, and you haven't let us wrong uh, yet. Daniel making a big save on the corner, by the way. Sending it long. Abu Bayed, uh, the goal scorer for Bear Shiva. The bullshit goal scorer, because no penalty should have ever been awarded. Headed back for Daniel. I'm not even playing uh, defensively, and they seem to be doing it. Turned over, though. Sepulveda. All right. We're gonna we're gonna waste time, and we're gonna send it long. Where do we send it long? We're not gonna we're gonna slow the pace down. We're not gonna distribute to the backs anymore. We're gonna take long kicks. We're gonna try to distribute over the defense. Maybe one day he'll score instead of hitting off the post. Hey, he also hit the crossbar. <laughs> Oh, Lord of mercy. All right, four minutes going to be added on at the end here, and I think it's pretty much a foregone conclusion that Tel Aviv is going to win this game. Sephori sends it forward. Almog sends it out. Joel with it. Sephori. Everyone's kind of bunched up in the middle. 
Sepulveda can't get his head on that as coming back for it is Aharoni. Danielle is going to hang on. We've got less than a minute and a half left in this game. Can he find out Magno? Joel heads it to Solari. Solari has got some speed on him, but he gets overtaken by. Uh, Oh, who he got? Oh, is that Almog they got overtaken by? Let's say Almog. Ortega. Near side for the Diaya. Toklamati pushed in. The door. Oh, with the header and the huge save being made by Glazer. Oh, did you catch that? That we were up in sixth place? Safori. Pushes past the defender, turns it over to Aharoni though. Aharoni with the interception. Long for Endor. Heads it forward, nobody can catch up to it. Rosero is there. Final 15 seconds of this contest. Ortega heading it wide. Jody intercepted by Shahar. Dadaya played ahead for Toklamati. He's taken down, no call. Eliash, Sepulveda. Feeding Solardi, and they do have numbers if he can catch up to it. He can't. His cross is intercepted by Glazer. Sent long by Daniel. The final whistle has blown, and just like that, the game is over. Makami Tel Aviv 3, Pablo Be'er Shiva 1. Pair of goals from Elon Almag, one from Idan Toklamati coming back from injury. Ayad Abu Abid uh, with the penalty in the 74th minute. And uh, well, let's look at the team. And before, let's go to the analysis. Let, let's just change this up for right now. Where is it? I can't, I can't load up the, the league table. All right, we'll leave, load it up later. Daniel was finally beaten today, having gone 279 consecutive minutes without conceding prior to that penalty. Uh, Manamana made his 50th league appearance for Maccabi Tel Aviv, 400th career appearance for the squad for Dor Peretz. Elon Almog scored his 50th career league goal, and his two goals ended uh, his goal scoring drought, which had previously stood at 578 minutes prior to the match today. And Omri Glazer made his 225th appearance for Bear Shava. Did I say Shava? Shiva. A win and a good performance. That'll do for me. Thank you all very much for your service tonight. You did fantastically. And like Not Me has already said, we have moved all the way up into sixth place. So we are a top of the tape. Well, we're, we're a top half of the table team, which is going to make the board happy. We were in 10th when we took over the squad three games ago. So we have picked up seven points. We're doing well. Nessiona right now is in the relegation playoff spot on 16 points after 18 games. So we're still underachieving as a squad, but we're 13 points off the top and only four points out of a European, play, uh, European place. So we are very excited about what the future could be for this team, which also makes me wonder what, if any, changes we are going to make as the we do have $10 million in transfer budget to spend. We do have about 70000 in wage budget that we can spend. Oh, we just dropped into seventh because uh, Ironi Kiryat Shimona moved up. They picked up a win. Ashdod picked up a win and moved up. Now let's take a look at the fitness of our players, too. Yeah, like Glazer, well, he's on the yellow card, so he's... I mean, Itai Aharoni played decently coming off the bench last time, so we'll give him a start here. Uh, Parrots, uh, uh, these guys are, none of these guys are, are at full strength, really. We're going to start with Etan Atar. We're going to leave uh, Indoor on the bench just because he's played a lot in a very short span of time after traveling over from South America or wherever the hell he was playing. I don't remember where that league was. Cyprus. Coming over from Cyprus. Not, not as far of a trip, but still. Over me. Can we get away with Tuklamadi starting? No, but uh, 
Ben Beniski is going to come in and play for Canuck. Can he play for Canuck? What, what positions? What positions do you play, son? You play that, but not very well. He's only 19 years old. We're going to give the 19-year-old a shot. Why not? We should win this game anyway. And he's really probably not going to figure. Uh, as I say that, he's going to figure like massively in this game. Everybody else is going to stay the same. Danielle in goal, Ramon, Mamana, Aharoni, and Ortega in the back four. Peretz and Nadam in the midfield. Ahead of them, Almog, Ben Benitsky, Ben Benisti, Ben Benisti. Did you just call him Ben? Ben Ben. They were just calling him Ben Ben. Ben Benisti and Kanishowski in the attacking midfield. And Eitan Eitar is going to be our striker for this game. Why? Because we feel like it. We'll probably bring uh, Indoor off of the bench. Ben Ben is lacking a little bit of... Uh, a little bit of fitness and sharpness. Well, not fitness, just sharpness. I feel the need to say multiple things, and that's what gets me in trouble. All right, Neta Shochat says is excited about uh, Kanishowski, and Ramon needs a rest. Everyone needs a rest. Let's carry our performance in from the last match. Doesn't really inspire people, but it doesn't piss anybody off either. We've got a 4-2-3-1 going as we have for the last couple of years here in Israel against the 4-3-3 of Adham Nadea's squad. And, uh, uh dude, we, uh, we just took a part of 4-3-3, but yeah, you, you keep playing it. Just go for it. It'll, it'll be fine, I'm sure. 55 degrees in this beautiful January evening here in... Tel Aviv, Israel. Maccabi Tel Aviv in the yellow and blue. In the brown is Hapoel Um El Fam. It's probably Um El Fam, but it's more fun to say it my way. Sent forward by Acuna. Menomenaz got it. Almong sending it long. Kanishowski is under it. Puts it in the middle. And the Dom with a quick shot. And that's going to be tipped over by Acuna. Making a fantastic save. And an early corner kick for Ramon. Sending it in with his left foot. Peretz can't get his head on Kanishowski in. But Ahmad plays it out to Ramon. And I guess that's the end of our attack. That's right, plenty of time to score goals. We're only out shooting them 2 0, so we've taken fewer shots. And yeah, we did by taking him off. We don't have the opportunity for Indoor to uh, add to his woodwork total. The Dom sends in the free kick, cleared by Lambulich. Peretz has it. His uh, shot in is deflected, and Nakunio is going to grab that easily. Not 100% sure why they needed to show that as a highlight, but who am I to judge? Kanishowski, Menomina, knocked down. Was that a push? Fuxman, Fux, <laughs> the ref, <laughs> points to the spot. VAR is going to check it. It will be a penalty. And Bulich uh, thinks that that was a bad call. I don't, I disagree. Almog to take. Almog, oh, Acuna guesses correctly and makes the save, knocking it behind for a corner. Oh, that's disappointing. I was getting all ready to say he was scoring his third goal in two matches. Played out, Ortega gets there first. Phenomena for Aharoni. Tries to play it in, but Vergara gets in the way, and uh, Amnel Fom is going to clear that out. I would argue one of my roughest, uh, weakest areas right now is scoring goals with this squad. Atar is in. He's behind everybody. Atar. What the hell? He had 
literally a wide open net. He had a wide open net and he couldn't hit. I was getting all prepared to hit a goal screen and he blew it. Thirty-eight minutes uh, it took for Hopwell Um Afam to get their first shot on goal. And now they're going to have an opportunity though on the corner kick. Jabarin delivers into the middle and getting his head on is Lambulich, his fourth goal of the year, and it's Um Afam one, Maccabi Tel Aviv nil. Oh, he's getting his revenge for that penalty call, isn't he? I mean, look, that guy looks like a monster. Like, my guys look like minuscule next to him. How tall is that, dude? Acuna sends forward. Ben Ben knocks it down. Atar, he's in behind again. He takes the shot. Oh, the defender getting his leg in front of that one. And an easy grab by the goalkeeper. Two shots on goal. One goal for them. Eight shots on goal. Nothing for us. We've had all the momentum. We've had the most clear-cut chances. We've had more corners. We've completed 86% of our passes. We've had almost 70% possession. And yet we find ourselves on the wrong side of a 1-0 score. Misha Lambulich. Let me take a look at him. Six foot four. Maybe we need to steal him. <laughs> oh, I love this line. I'm not angry, just disappointed with you. Although Ben Ben's a little apprehensive, so we're gonna have to keep our eye on him. Ben Ben not really making the most of the opportunity that I've given him. Peretz, Among, he's taken down. That's gotta be a kick. The, card. It is. It's going to be a yellow for Neve Sardal. And they're not even going to show us the free kick. I mean, luckily, even with this result, we're still top half. Another yellow card handed out. Ramon Peretz back for Manamana. Ramon pushing it wide. Tries to get past the Manny Camp, but he finds Amon. Played around in the middle, Nidam gets it to Ben Ben. Fed right wing side for Ortega, cutting in Ortega across the goal mouth. Can't find a man, Sardal is able to clear it away. And here they come the other way, sent long. Mayman, they've got three deep. Getting in the way of that is Menomina. Ortega pushes it back to Danielle. Great defensive play by Tel Aviv. But um, that feeling is starting to go away. That feeling of like eternal confidence. So we need to do something. Ben Ben Peretz. I'm on. Oh man. Kanishowski just putting it wide of the far post. And we're getting shots off. But we're not capitalizing once again. Guess what Ben Ben. You're gone. Toklamati's coming in in your spot. Oh, uh, Al Mong on a yellow. Yeah, we're going to put Toklamati on that left hand side. And then who do we want to put in the middle? Uh, yeah, let's get Canuck in there. All right, two changes we're going to be making here in the 62nd minute. Uh, we're taking off Almong, who has definitely been our best player over the last couple of games. Uh, having a little bit of a rough one. He's on the yellow card, so we don't want to take any chances. Uh, Toklamati in there on the left-hand side. He's got it now. Tries to feed it across, but that's blocked back behind for a corner. I think if he didn't take that last touch and he fed it across, we could have had a goal. It would have been a nice crossing pass along the grass. Ramon sending it in. Toklamati can't get his head on it. Knook tracking it down. Trying to feed Ramon, but Jorain stepping in the middle of that one, gaining control and clearing in the other direction. Mamana for Peretz, Ramon. Waits, Mamana, Toklamani in the middle for Nidam. 
Mamana. We're really working the ball on this left-hand side a lot tonight. Piglamani, a forward for Karachowski. And again, just outside of the far post. That's two shots that he has missed wide so far in like the last uh, five, six minutes. Ooh, not enough pace on that pass intended for Peretz. Knocked back for Mamana. Peretz across for Nidam. Kanachowski, Canuck is in. Canuck with the shot. Also off target. Yet another goal kick for Amel Fahm. But Tel Aviv is swarming. We're definitely winning that... Uh, what do I call it? The moral victory battle of the XG competition. The moment for Parrots. Parrots getting sloppy. Jabarin taking it off his feet. Left wing feed for Maman. Cycles it back for Ahmad. Sending it forward. Ortega will track that down. Give it to Danielle ahead for Mamana. With space. Parrots across for Nadam. Finds Karachowski, through pass, finds Atar, Atar. Crossing is blocked, Hoklamati can't get his head on it. Sardali able to clear that out into touch. And I think uh, we may need to make a substitution here. Oh man, yeah, Karachowski, like... Or Dodge is gonna come in and take his place. I mean, he's on a 6.1. Look like he's doing a couple of good things, but just, you know, not really clicking, not really very sharp out there this afternoon. So let's see how Ordadia does coming in on that right-hand side. And then Nadam picking up a very quick yellow card after the, after the change made. 73rd minute. Aharoni to Nadam. Nadam sending it long. Dadia, can he get under it? No, Ahmad gets there first. Lay down for Toklamati. Turns it to his left. Pushes it past the defender. Takes it deep in the middle. Oh, he tries to sneak it in near post. Deflected at the last second. Great play by Toklamati. But again, just not able to capitalize. This team just coming up a little bit short. Ramon up the near side, sending it in the middle, popped ahead, headed across, Toklamati tracking it down. Lays it back, Ramon for Peretz. Peretz with a shot, and Peretz tucking it in to the far corner inside that far post. And just like that, we are equalized in the 76th minute. Go, 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 go! Ramon, Peretz, look at this shot by Peretz. Quick release into that top corner, far post. No doubt about that. And we are tied at one. So as much as we want to win, at least we're going to get points out of this if the result holds. But of course, we're going to keep attacking. But so are they. Norte takes it away. Ramon able to steal a pushback for Mamana. Aharoni for Nadam. Peretz near side. Works past one man, cycles it back to Aharoni. Gaining a little bit of space, moving it back to move forward. Nadam, Ordadia. Left back for Ortega. Slide tackle, ooh, he went in hard. Fuxman's calling Maman over and I think he's gone. He is, it's gonna be a red card on Miko Maman. And for the next uh, 10 minutes, Maccabi Tel Aviv is gonna be up one man here. Can we take advantage with the man advantage? I think this re I think this requires fresh legs. Who do we put in? Ido Ali. No, he's nervous. Screw Ido Ali. Get out of there. Oriazu. Uh, uh, Oriazu is going to take the place of uh, Nidam. Final change being made by Maccabi Tel Aviv with just a couple of minutes left in this game. Acuna sending it forward. Mamana. Plays it quickly ahead to Dadaya. Back for Ortega. Ortega's got plenty of space now. He's going to dribble up. Feed it forward for Canuck. Canuck slices through the defense. Has his cross blocked. And Sa will clear that out. It will be a throw for Tel Aviv as time continues to elapse. Mamana now in the offensive end. Gets it back from Peretz. 
Aharoni Azu with it. He's got some space. Right wing feed for Ortega. Head for the Daya. He'll stop. Cut it inside. Azu. Parrots. Parrots a shot. Deflected in. Fourth goal of the year for Tor Parrots. And it goal! is 2 1. Makami Tel Aviv. Daya cutting back. Azu across Parrots with a shot. Gonna click the back heel of the defenseman. That was unfortunate. It really was for them. But with the man advantage, Tel Aviv and the 2 1 lead. Five minutes being added on. Hopefully, we can uh, see this one out. Uh, we're gonna add in a little time wasting. We're gonna cut down our little tempo there. Uh, we're going to not do any of those things. Maybe give them a little more space in the midfield there. We're going to slow the pace down. And we're going to distribute over the defense and take long kicks. Peretz, the hero. The 32-year-old goat. Ortega free kick. Off of the wall. Bouncing back. Azu has it. Back for Ortega. One last opportunity to go up 3-1. His cross is blocked. It'll go back behind. Uh, but they're not going to get a chance to take the corner. The whistle is going to end the match. And with some late game heroics by Dor Peretz. Maccabi Tel Aviv 2. Hapoel Um El Fam 1. And couldn't have, couldn't have happened to a nicer team. Even though we didn't play great, we got the result. Aharoni's still a little nervous. I don't know why. Game's over, dude. <laughs> We're okay. We escaped. We are on 29 points for the season now. I believe we're still in the same place. We're still probably in sixth. Dor Parrott's pair of goals. He had both goals in this game. I totally didn't even think about that. Parrott's uh, impressed with your directness. Wait, you're wary? What? Here, it impressed me. If you think you can do better, oh, let's see. Oh, he's downcast. Ugh. Dora Parrots does not take uh, compliments very well. 25,829 in attendance. And Maccabi Tel Aviv sitting in sixth place on 29 points. Two points out of Europe. Hey, guys. Thank you so very much for watching. If you like what you saw... You can join me most nights on Twitch, and you can see it live. If you can't, and you just want to catch the highlights here, just be sure to like and subscribe on this video to make sure you're notified the next time the action continues. See you then.